a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello my wonderful people, welcome back to Reality Latest GC, your home of news and politics as we are giving a back-to-back -back update and information as it is hot. My people, the matter of what I can give that today, we say they do state chapter for the All Progressive Congress on Sunday. Don't come forth to the People Democratic Party stance on the new administration of Governor Mondo Oholo, who was elected on September 21st as the governor of Edo State under the banner of the APC. <laughs> My people, let me smoke with you. Moving on after this, we have the ex deputy governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibo. Talk say Mondo Bobolo need people's support to succeed. But guys, if I go bring the full matter, go like, welcome those with the join us on today. Wonderful news for the first time. You guys are highly welcome. Kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn on the bell to get notified whenever we we'll drop our video to all our returning subscribers. Thank you so much for joining. So, my people, let's dive into the main gist. The Edo State chapter of the All Progressive Congress don't come out on Sunday. Come forth. The People Democratic Party stands on the new administration of Governor Mondo Obolo, who was elected on September 21st as the governor of Edo State under the banner of APC. The Edo State APC insisted that, going by criticism of the three weeks old Mondo Obolo administration, they say it's obvious that the People Democratic Party lacked today's governor's reality. So, addressing a press conference at the party state secretariat, the Artist State Chairman of the party, Jared Tinebre, Talk say the landmark project of Mondo Obolo had them back up on, like the Ramat flyover, which the PDP had criticized. They talk say those things were captured in the review budget of 2024, and that the alleged attack on its sectorate was the case. The now opposition party cannot substitute it. My people, this was just as the party captured the PDP stance that the Independent National Electoral Commission compromised their bimodal voter accreditation system during the September 21st Gonship election that ushered in the Mondo Ovolo administration. So, Jared Tineben noted that the ignoble and violent threats of PDP, which they exhibited before, during, and after the election, are the signpost of imperialistic deposition, which the Edo people shall never pray to experience again. So right now, my people, the Edo State APC chairman, Jared Tinebe, don't come as gone condemn what he called the public display of call to violence by sub chief head of the People Democratic Party during the campaign. If the party lost the election, a situation he said was enough to query their moral rights to challenge the result of an election. They expressed desperation to win. So Jared Tinebe, said that this call for violence even before the election resulted in the killing of police inspector attached to the now governor so he added that pdp is still celebrating their fellow has now embarked on a self-destruction process to criticize the government of distinguished netomondo Oholo that has surpassed the non-achievement of governor basiki in eight years having just been in office for just few days jerry tinebe added that the chairman of the people democratic party in Edo state tony ezebami from the press conference he had a few days ago. <laughs> he said that what we talk for they only demonstrated that he had no knowledge of the implementation of the revised appropriation law 2024 of Edo State. Where according to the APC chairman, <laughs> he said the flyover bridge can be captured in the open-ended parenthesis of the budget, which accommodates for projects of implicit and urgent importance. So Edo people are now happy, according to him, that Governor Mondo Bobolo, who understands their plight and he's ready to tackle them head on, has come and they now know that what the PDP government term impossible projects like the flyover are realizable by a government that is determined to work and not believe in memorandum of understanding which only existed on papers. I put Janet Nebeno in there, he went on to give PDP bus boats. <laughs> hey. He said it is most disgusting for PDP to ascribe the criminal destruction that happened in their moribund sectorate to the APC. Now, why the APC government of his essence among the Obolo condemn any act of criminal tendency like the alleged destruction of the People Democratic Party sectorate? That it must be stated without a provocation that the said alleged act has no bearing with the APC. The allegation by the PDP that suspected APC members attacked the secretariat was a criminal allegation. Now, within APC, they stand on. That must be proven beyond a reasonable doubt. So now they are saying that they required PDP to substantiate the allegation with undisputed facts. They say PDP must know that His Excellency Sneto Mondo Bublo has put his hand on the plot and he's ready to put 
Edo State on the map of progress. But before anybody went talk to APC, now they collect Basbozo. <laughs> hey, they went ahead to capitated the PDP chieftain Osita Chidoka claim that Beavers and the electoral body were compromised during the election. <laughs> The chairman of the APC stated equivocally that there are two sets of beavers mentioned in the INEC office, that the one legitimately used by INEC for the election and the manipulated machine that were smuggled into the office of INEC by the PDP. So right now, my people, they are calling on the security agencies where the PDP got the manipulated beavers machine, from which they are circulating fake results since the same have been acknowledged in the public space. <laughs> I put up this more about that because they said the one we said they manipulated, now the one we belong to PDP, but the one way they give exact results, now the one we belong for APC, my people. I don't know what you not think about this matter. I could like no. Make una share una thoughts, your comments, your opinion in our comment section below. We could like hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. The former deputy governor of Edo State, Philip Chaibu, said the program and the appointment made by the governor of Edo State, Neto Mondobolo, will benefit Edo people. Philip Chaibu said this after a Thanksgiving service at St. Paul Catholic Church, Bini City, to mark his 55th birthday, which was attended by some high-profile politicians like the acting governor of Bayasha State, Neto Lawrence, Mr. Faviation, Festus Kayamo, former deputy governor of Edo State, Dr. Pius Odubo, former speaker of Edo State, House of Assembly, Frank Okiye, Senator Matthew Rogede, Honorable Ragzag Belo Osage, serving and former lawmakers of the State House of Assembly, Council Chairman, among others. So Philip Shaibu, who also a chief fan of the All Progressive Congress, said the governor hit the ground running from day one. And he prayed that he got the resources to deliver dividends of democracy to Edo people. So now you don't come and come talk. Say the program and appointment that was made by Mondo Oholo we definitely benefit Edo people. But in prayer, be say make Mondo Oholo get the need fund to deliver the dividends of democracy. He says so far that Governor Mondo Oholo has been very good, and he's very happy with the flyover flag of and excited that from his first day in office. Mondo Bobolo did not keep governance Kamutos. That he made some appointment immediately. So he thought he has started very well. But like he has always said that Edo people should pray to God. To give Mondo Bobolo wisdom to lead Edo states. Because you know is it that the way he can survive and succeed is for Edo people to give both physical and spiritual support. Because leaders must be prayed for at all times so that they will not make mistakes. So they should pray for Senator Montebolo so that he can deliver to them all the promises he made. Why thank you God for keeping him alive? Philip Shaibo urged you to believe in the country and not to allow their right to be trampled upon by anyone. He said, do not give up all because there is hope in Nigeria. <laughs> I mean, for the small matter, so guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, opinions, and a comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, comment, and Bye for now.